Hey guys, it's Animal Jam Club 57 back here with another video. Now I'm sorry I didn't post any um videos lately, so that's why I thought I could start YouTube again. So in today's video I'll be showing my cute collection. Not only did I start YouTube again, I also got back into cubing. Well I had a I had I had a three by three and a two by two and that's how that's what started my um cubing career. So um yeah let's get into it so i might not have that much cubes but i am uh, getting to be uh, cubing so yeah first up before anything i'm gonna show you my timer it is a cube mark to cube timer what i do is put two hands and i just wait for that green light to flash and when i take my hands off it will start timer and it will be like flashing to stop it you just put your two hands back on and then it'll give you a time. Okay, basically, yeah. <clears throat> now, on to the real thing, like the cubes. Now, starting off with 2x2, two two, I only have one 2x2. Two two. That's the Cyclone branded 2x2. Two two. It's loose. Very smooth. And very strong, so it doesn't really come apart that much. And I actually get very good times on this. So, thank you, Cyclone boys, um, for making a good cube like this now my 3x3s three now um i have a, quite a lot of 3x3s three because like 3x3 three three is the most thing that i focus on because it's a main rubik's cube that's how rubik's cube like started so yeah the first ever 3x3 three three i got or well, that started my career is obviously everyone's starter a rubik's brand is and it's not that bad it is also neat with Vaseline I mean it's not that slow but it's not my main and then when I started getting into speed cubing and cubing I got again a Cyclone Boys branded 3x3 which is very smooth Indeed, indeed it is. Indeed. So this is one of my favorite series, and also I have a Moe Waylong GTS version two, magnetic. This, this is my mix. I mean, okay, I just missed it up. I just missed it up there. But yeah, the reason why this is my main very smooth is magnetic. I mean, obviously, it's going to be my main. I mean, it is very magnetic, so you kind of expect you kind of expect something like that. Like you wouldn't just expect like a random thing to happen. It's just like like that is expected. And also, I do know full CFOP. No, not full, but I do. Okay. <laughs> I do know CFOP and I do use it. Um, people say, so, some people might say, judging by what I'm solving it right now, it looks like I'm solving it. Or I am solving a beginner's method, but when I'm like really doing like actual solves and everything like that, I would do it in CFOP, like in the middle. So, like, I'll do the white cross in CFOP, the, the corners in CFOP. And then probably the yellow, I'll do beginner's method, because, I mean, that's the same thing. It, there's, like, different patterns and everything. And then the last layer is also the same as beginner's method. So, like, uh, that's beginner's method. Pretend that will see if OP. On beginner's method, you also do the yellow side. But there will be different, like, there will be, like, patterns as well. Um, same algorithms, like, if you... If you can remember them personally i okay so what i'm trying to say is that i don't know cfp on to the next now on to the next cube now now this cube i only have one and i don't really know how to solve it but i am learning it's a four by four 
the best keyboard in the world. Not the best one before, it is um, second voice. It is quite smooth. Yeah. And now for 5x5, five five, again, I have sight drum boys. But again, I can't solve this. The last one I have in my few clicks is a Kleenex scanner I can solve. I just quickly demonstrate quick speed solve so that you guys now can actually solve it. Timer. Have inspection, obviously, if you were in a competition. And start yourself. You got to make that fast, but you know, I can do with it. And that time was. I think, okay, so the time is 18.694. And thank you guys for watching, and that's all of the things I have related to cubing, and I'll see you in the next video.